we are in a climate crisis. And Canadians are scared about the future, about the future for their children. And they're also struggling to pay for rent, to pay for groceries. We are in a cost of living crisis. And we need a government that takes these issues seriously, one that will unite Canadians. Fighting the climate crisis and the cost of living crisis is not optional. Unfortunately, what we've seen from Pierre Polyev is he doesn't have a climate plan. He doesn't seem to care about the climate crisis or how it's impacting Canadians. But the Liberals have been using climate policy as a political wedge. In Atlantic Canada, they tried to buy votes by giving exemptions. They gave exemptions to some of the biggest polluters, the companies who are fueling the climate crisis. Canadians know that's not fair when Suncor is paying 14 times less for their pollution than everyday Canadians. That's not fair. But we also know that Pierre Polyev is using this as a political wedge as well. And he is dividing Canadians. He doesn't care about the climate crisis. He doesn't care about how the climate emergency is Im impacting everyday Canadians. He does care about the lobbyists who run his party and the rich CEOs who are now flocking to his fundraisers to donate to him. And these are the CEOs from grocery store chains and from big oil and gas, uh, these same companies who are lobbying hard to undermine climate action. We need to bring Canadians together to fight the climate emergency to tackle the cost of living crisis, and we need a government that will support them. This is why, you know, at this time, bringing the premiers together with the federal government to have a conversation about climate policy, that is a supportable idea. We'll be supporting the motion today, and we'll also be pushing the government to take bold action to tackle the climate crisis and to support Canadians who are struggling with the cost of living.